What's up everyone and welcome to the vlog. Today I've got two reasons for being in the city. One is that in almost exactly an hour I'll be sitting my Australian citizenship test and two I thought I'd come down to this motorcycle parking space to get some footage for a video that I'm working on so the video is going to be about um, five tips for group riding and there's some nice bikes out here sadly though it's a popular spot for bikes getting stolen so yeah I'm gonna be whipping out my camera in a second I thought it'd be good to kind of have you guys come along to see how I do my videos Because sometimes it ends up being both informative and entertaining. So there's not really much in my camera bag at the moment. Because people do ask how I capture my footage. I've got my X-T4, Fujifilm X-T4 camera. And on the front of it, I've got a Sigma 18-50 to f2.8 lens. And I also use this little mic here. It's a Boya BY mm1 <laughs> whatever that is so yeah just because you have like heaps of bikes here i thought it would be good to grab some footage uh, and i'll strap on this little jobby tripod just a little tiny mini tripod for me that rides around filming myself every time i have to stop and get footage of me in the frame it's handy to just have that in the bag rather than have a whole tripod strapped to my back and the backpack I'll move this out of the way so I can try and punch in uh, also bearing in mind I don't have heaps of time because I have to get myself going for the citizenship test so we'll try and do this really quickly because it's just going to be b-roll really for the video so I've got the lens at its shortest focal length that's 18 millimeters because then you don't see the shakes too much because I don't have a gimbal and we'll do one from this side ride this way hopefully the camera is filming it is <laughs> let's put it here next to the mt10 let's do another shot we'll come in and park <laughs> this battery is gonna die anytime soon <laughs> okay let's go one more <laughs> That doesn't look good <laughs> you see that so i think this is like one of those motorcycle disc brake locks and unfortunately this is a popular spot for look at that genius had the mic on didn't plug it in Ducati. so for the channel i'm planning to have three different types of videos so i'm planning to have the big commercialized videos where you know i'm doing reviews giving tips and things like that a bit like the long-term review that i gave for the Husqvarna are you going and then i'm also considering doing vlog style kind of videos just to let you have a raw taste of the life behind motorcycle bars and afro biker and how i do my filming and then lastly less serious stuff like wheelie really practice youtube shorts tiktok videos the only trouble with the vlogs is that believe it or not uh, i am actually quite introverted i'm pretty comfortable behind the camera i'm comfortable on a stage and speaking to 
audiences but it gets really awkward when the numbers go smaller like one-to-one -one interactions and stuff like that uh, i don't know i just i suffer from a condition called intj oh, it's not a condition <laughs> but it's a personality type so if you've done the 16 personalities type you know some people swear by these things others are like oh it's like the modern day horoscopes but doing the test you know i, I i'll put a link to the test in the description if you're interested to find out what your personality type is i found it very handy because it explained why i behave the way i do in certain situations and it also made me feel less weird i'm like oh so these are things that i actually don't have control over and shouldn't feel bad about and the intj i think is the rarest personality type the test itself breaks down how you interact with the rest of the world in all sorts of different social setups like you know in intimate relationships at work and stuff like that i went on a bit of a tangent there but yeah that's just to explain vlogs yeah so i'll try and keep them as raw and as authentic as i possibly can and i really appreciate doing this because personally for me it provides me a platform to practice being a little bit more social i guess you yeah so the department of home affairs building is just on the other side there that's why i'll be having my citizenship test hopefully we get a pass otherwise this video is not going to be on youtube <laughs> funny enough this little parking spot here is where my wr450 got stolen it got nicked right in the middle of cc cameras there's cameras all over this place here yeah anyway don't go anywhere all right got about 40 minutes to the test see you on the flip side Australian Government Department of Home Affairs <sighs> What's going on Afros? We got a W on that one <laughs> Another W It's your boy Afro Biker is finally an Australian citizen Well, I still have to go for the ceremony But we have jumped the biggest hurdle Now, I'm hoping that my bike is still there Especially given my previous experience here It's your boy Afro Biker is a citizen. <laughs> uh, huh? Hang on. What? My bike was right here. What the bloody hell? Are you kidding? I <laughs> uh, uh, got you, Afros. It's right there. <laughs> ah, sorry for doing that to you sorry just thought i'd squeeze that in for your giggles but yeah bike still here obviously not stolen uh we aced the citizenship test gotta hunt it let's go as always thanks for watching it's your boy Afro biker signing out <laughs>